Let us learn about reproduction in Marchensia. Marchensia reproduces by vegetative and sexual methods. First we will learn about the vegetative methods of propagation. Vegetative reproduction takes place regularly by the following methods. The first one is by the progressive death and decay of the thallus. The mature cells of the gametophyte are short lived. This is the gametophyte. This is the posterior region of the gametophyte, a prominent midrib, the areolae, the apical region of the gametophyte. These cells at the posterior region are short lived, and the depth and the decay of the older, older cells begins at the posterior region. As the cells decay it starts from the posterior end and reaches the anterior region when the decay reaches the point of dichotomy that is when it reaches this region of dichotomy then these two parts of the thallus get separated and each one develops into a new thallus of Marchensia. The second method of vegetative propagation is by the formation of adventitious branches. In some species of Marchensia, adventitious branches are seen on the ventral surface of the thallus or on the ventral surface of the gametophyte. These branches on separation, they develop into the independent Marchensia thalli. This is the ventral surface on the apical region. Towards the apex, small adventitious branches develop. These are the adventitious branches. When they get detached from the parent plant, each branch develops into a new thalli of Marchensia. And the third type of vegetative method of propagation is by the formation of gemma or gemme. These are specialized multicellular asexually reproducing bodies. They are born on the dorsal surface of the thallus, on the midrib in shallow cup-like structures called as the gemma cups. Each gemma cup is approximately 2 millimeters in its diameter. It is embedded inside the tissue of the thallus. It is around 2 millimeters in diameter and about 3 millimeters in its height. The margins of the gemma cup are lobed or fringed. They are highline, whereas the gemma cup is green in color. From the floor of the gemma cup, we can see small stalked globose bodies or discoid bodies arise. These discoid bodies are called as the gemme. The gemma is biconvex in its structure with constrictions on two sides or two notches on the bilateral sides. The superficial cells, the margins near the two notches towards the margin of the gemma, we find a layer of growing cells or apical cells. All the cells of gemme are green in color and contain chloroplast. 
but there are few cells which are colorless they are colorless and these cells give rise to rhizoids so they are called as the rhizoidal cells the cytoplasm of these cells is dense and granular apart from the gemme inside the gemma cup there are small club like structures which arise from the floor of the gemma cup and these club like structures are the mucilaginous hair the mucilaginous hair imbibes water and swells up as a result of this they create a pressure on the gemma which gets detached from the floor of the cup and gets disseminated by rain water there is no dorsal or ventral surface for the gemma the surface of the gemma which comes in contact with the soil becomes a ventral surface and the surface of the gemma which is facing towards the sunlight becomes the dorsal surface the mature gemma when they fall on the substratum from either side that is these notches from the two lateral notches a new plant starts coming out or new plants arise from both the sides from the apical regions from this side a thallus appears and from this side another thallus that means when a gemma falls it germinates to or it develops into two thalli of marchensia these thalli grow in opposite directions usually gemma present on the male plant will give rise to the male thallus and those from the female plant give rise to the female thallus 